St. Regis Rome is one of Marriott's luxury hotels. Uh, this grand old hotel, which used to be known as the Grand Hotel Rome, uh, is a marvel to stay at. Uh, you're treated extremely well. It is The decor is amazing, and it's just a wonderful place to stay. Uh, when you arrive, you're met by a porter who takes you in through these marvelous glass and uh, turnstile door um, into the lobby area. And immediately to the right is the concierge and the reception desk. Um, and they get you all squared away, take you on a tour, take you up to your room. It's all very nice and very elegant. This is a picture of the lobby, and you can see that as you look back, uh, they, they uh, have this hanging curtain almost that they project images on, depending upon anything that's going around. And you can see the staff is dressed impeccably. They're all very attentive to your, ne your needs. This is the uh, restaurant and bar area called the Lumen. Uh, we had breakfast there every morning. The staff was amazing. Went out of their way to make sure we had everything that we needed. They had a marvelous breakfast buffet. Uh, they have interesting little side rooms like this. I believe they call this the library. It was just a neat room that you could have breakfast or dinner in. Filled with books and artwork and so forth. And several times they had live music down in this area. That was just amazing to hear. Directly behind that curtain is this amazing banquet hall. Uh, it has gold inlay, mirrors on the, on the walls, these amazing frescoes on the ceiling. Uh, there was a fashion show the first couple of days we were there, and they were utilizing this room. Um, it was just really interesting to see. As well as this banquet hall, uh, on that same level, there was another smaller uh, banquet-style room that they had meetings and so forth in. Uh, there was the Lumen Garden, which was closed when we were there, but it is an outside uh, section of the restaurant. And then up on the fifth floor is this wonderful uh, spa area. Uh, we didn't take advantage of that. Uh, there's also a fitness area, but we uh, didn't get around to see it. And besides all the amenities that they had, just walking around the hallways was amazing. This one hallway was filled with, with uh, plants. Uh, this is a hallway that is up on one of the guest floors. And as you can see, it's well lit. It's elegant. There's artwork and sconces everywhere. This is another hallway on the first floor. Again, just everywhere was elegant and had amazing artwork. Uh, all these uh, drawings, these these pencil drawings, uh, are of uh, famous buildings and so forth in the Rome area. It was just really cool just to walk around uh, the St. Regis and see the, the wonderful uh, artifacts and, and artwork that they have. In addition to the artifacts and artwork, uh, this stairwell is a piece of art in and of itself. Wrought iron railing, there's uh, inlay uh, on the underside of the stairs, there's a fresco on the ceiling, carpet runners. It was just interesting just to see this amazing stairwell. Uh, and then we stumbled upon an 1896 elevator that was original to the Grand Hotel Rome. Um, this was really neat to see, and it still operates, so of course we had to take a ride. Okay, just open both doors. Okay. We're, we're wide people, so just open both doors.
Wow, look at that. Hello. Just wanted to give you a quick tour of the room. So, this is, um, we're in Rome at the St. Regis, and this is an imperial room. So, uh, that's the front door. On the... And have a, some lovely artwork. And then we have two huge closets. So another closet here. Let's get a safe and drawers. Little mini bar, coffee maker, coffees and waters and snacks. Mm -hmm. Refrigerator here with sodas and wines and beers. We have a very large television. There are a few English channels, mainly news channels. Um, this nice area here, plenty of space here at this counter. Lots um, of plug ins. Yeah, plenty of. Plug-ins, USBs, and whatnot. And then two huge windows. With very thick curtains. I mean, I haven't noticed street noise hardly at all, so mm -hmm. it's very nice. A nice sitting area here. Very comfortable bed. Very nice chandelier. Have a bathroom here. Very nice tub that I'll probably be using soon. A towel warmer. Very nice counter. You know, plenty of towels. Very big, large mirror. And you get all these cool little things. Very nice, very large shower, and it's got the, uh, I call that rain, mm -hmm. rain head. And then in here is your, your toilet and your bidet. And the, you see the glass is frosted for the toilet area, so you've got a little privacy. This is the room. And the cool part is, it's got a doorbell. This trip was for our 35th wedding anniversary. And the uh, butler staff and concierge staff went out of their way to make sure we had a marvelous uh, anniversary while we were there. They had roses on the bed when we arrived. I had ordered bouquet. We had ordered a cake. And because they brought the cake a day too early, they brought us a second cake on our actual anniversary. So it was just amazing what they did for us. When staying in the eternal city of Rome, the St. Regis Rome is by far the top notch of a hotel to stay in. Uh, part of the Marriott Von Boy network.